Hi everyone, just a quick video on spark plugs, uh, how to check them and how to get, get them correctly. So I've got a couple of tools in front of me and a couple of spark plugs, so I'm just going to show you uh, how to do it. So the first tool I'm going to show you uh, is the spark plug uh, gap tool, which cost me £3. And it's well worth having one of these. Um, they're very, very handy. If you're going to do it more than, more than once, they're certainly worth investing in. Uh, so on one side, as you can see, we've got it in inches. And on the other side, we've got it in millimetres, which is what we'd use here in the UK. So... We've got a scale here from 0.45 millimetres right round to 2.55 millimetres. Uh, if you look at the side of the, the tool here, it starts at the bottom here at the 0.45 millimetres and uh, slowly gets thicker and thicker as it goes around the side of the uh, tool until it's uh, at the maximum size of this the, the depth of this tool. So um, in the middle here, as you can see, we've got a gap opener. Uh, so just like a bottle opener, that's going to open the uh, electrode gap up for us. And then we've got this bit around the side here where we can test it um, and, and re-gap it. So I've got one spark plug here that I've already gapped. The car that I've got uh, is 1.1 millimetres, the uh, spark plug electro gap. Um, most cars are going to be between 0 0.8 and 1.3. Um, so I'm just going to pop it in there. So if you just want to check it, really quick way of doing it, just slide it in and then slide it up to the point where it nips. And it won't really go beyond that point. So at that point... It holds on nice and tight uh, and it's not going to fall off. So that's been gapped at 1.1 millimetres. Um, so I'm happy with that one. So this one that I'm actually going to gap with this tool is here. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to pop it at the bottom of the millimetres. I'm going to slide it up to the point where it gets stuck, which is about one millimetre. So I just need to open this one up a little bit more uh, to gap it correctly for this engine. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spark plug uh, head through here for the ground electrode. And then I'm going to bend it like so. And that opens it up a tiny bit. And then I'm going to check where we're at with it. So we've gone too, too far, which is absolutely fine. We're up to about 1.3, 1.35. So all I'm going to do is get it to where I want it, which is 1.1. And then I'm going to turn it over. And on a hard surface, so on a metal bench ideally, just make sure I've got it still correct, which I have. And I'm going to push that electrode gap down into the tool and now that's set nicely at 1.1 millimeters um you the other tool that i've got is the uh feeler gauge as you can see on here it shows 0 0.05 millimeters to one millimeter and there's 13 blades so if i open it up like a swiss army knife you'll see each of these blades has a different thickness one millimeter 0 0.05 and so on so if you just want to check your spark plug gap, uh, one there, and if I get the other point one, it'll be here somewhere. You can use uh, one finger or a combination of fingers, put them together and pop it into the spark plug gap. And hopefully, he says, that should be perfect. Yeah, so that's holding fine. Um, you could, I suppose, push this down on the table and nip it, but um, I'd not recommend using feeler gauges for that because the... the the steel on these is so thin that you'll end up kinking it and damaging it and then you won't be able to uh, use it again in, after uh, several goes at doing that so this is a far better tool for measuring it's nice and accurate uh, but this uh, spark plug gap tool is really given the size of it it's a great little thing to have with you because it's you can check you can test it you can open the gap uh, and you can reduce the gap uh, and it doesn't take up much room and as i say this one's about three pounds and this one's about three pounds as well so they're not expensive and they're well worth having uh, why is the gap important well if the gap's too large uh, under pressure in the cylinder the spark might not be able to jump from the center electrode to the ground electrode and you'll have a misfire and if the gap's too short then the spark will jump across just fine but the problem is it won't jump across for long enough to burn all the fuel air mixture uh, and you'll have unburnt fuel in there and your car will be running rich and that'll have uh, effects on your emissions and your catalytic converter and so on so uh nice simple test to do uh and um yeah two different tools to use it hope that makes sense see you on the next one